Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Sally Prime to server in 2024. So we're delving into the world of business software, specifically how to connect Sally Prime to a server in 2024. So establishing of course connection uh, to the server is crucial for collaborative and centralized like data uh, management. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step guide to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here myself, uh, for me, I'm going to use like Brave Browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. And before connecting Tally Prime to the server, ensure that the server is available and accessible. Verify that the server status and uh, is good and network connectivity is good also. And the permissions to ensure, of course, a smooth connection process. Now, what you'll need to do is simply go and launch uh, Tally Prime on your computer. If you haven't installed it yet, just make sure to install the software on the system where you plan to access and manage your accounting data. So as an example, you can just go here to this URL section and type Tally Prime as an example, hit the enter button. And as you can see, you will be able to click on this first option, click on uh, download and you'll be able to download it. So simply go and click on download. And of course, you'll have to choose where to download it. Click on save. Once it's downloaded, as you can see, just go simply click on it and start the installation process on your PC. So for me, I'll just go here and click on yes. I guess you have a, like a black screen. And once you do so, you'll find this. So simply, you'll find the name, where it will be installed. You can configure that. You can go and do more actions or click on I to install or click on install. Once you do so, the installation process will start. So we'll have to wait a bit until it's installed. It should not take a lot of time. And as you can see, you'll be able to click on S or here on Start Tally Prime to start the application. For you, if you already have it, you basically don't have to do that. You just have to go and launch Tally Prime on your computer. As you can see, once it's installed and opened or opened, you will find this if it's your first time. So application starts up. We'll start the following settings. Click configure to change the settings. So click click here on configure as you can see. Default currency for new companies, other accounting terminology, whatever you want to change. So simply go and change that. Once you finish, just click on escape button on your keyboard. Then simply go and click on accept. This will take two seconds and we'll give you here. So welcome to Tally Prime. Select one of the following options. Try to for free. Use license. Uh, reactive or active activate a new license so for you here as an example do whatever suits you for normally you will have to go and use your license for network if you have one if you don't you'll have to go and activate a new license but for me i'll just go here and try it for free educational so once i do so i'll find myself on something like this for me, here as an example, I'll be able to create some company, select some remote company, specify the path, or select from drive. Of course, for you, you will have to go and from Tally Prime dashboard, you'll have to choose the company for which you want to establish a connection to the server. You can select the company by navigating through an available option in Tally Prime. Of course, as an example, for me, I have no companies, so why not click on, on create a company to create one? We'll have to go and give it a name. So I'll just go and give it a test name. And yeah, I'll hit the enter button. Mailing name, I'll give it a test. Address, I'll just type some random stuff in here. And uh, the states, you can have to choose the state, of course, of it. Uh, I'll just choose Delhi, why not? Country, can change the country. And as an example, I don't know, let's just choose... United States of America and the states I'll change it here to whatever it is in here. So normally the country once you choose United States of America, this should change. Yeah, it changed now. So we'll just go and choose Alaska. Why not? And you can add any other number that is possible. And once you finish, just keep clicking on enter. Once you finish, you will find accept. Click on accept. And here, of course, just add or change 
whatever settings you want to change as an example and keep clicking on enter once you get accept click on yes and you will successfully have your company ready as i said before if you already have like companies just go and from the dashboard choose the company or from which you would like to establish a connection now what you'll need to do is simply go to the company info of course to do so you'll basically have an example here go to manage click on company and you'll be able here of course on the info to click on connect in the company info option you'll be able to click on connect if you want to connect to online access example if you want to connect something you can even connect uh, like status disconnect if you already connected to something remote access uh, change select shots create an example new company you'll be able to do a lot of stuff in there so as an example here i'll just go and click on connect cannot connect in educational mode activate the license and try again so as you can see for me i'll not be able to connect but for you basically just go and click and here company connect for me of course i'll not be able to but for you uh, to establish of course a uh, secure connection or you will find like an option there where you should enter the necessary server details including the server ip address or host name as simple as that you'll have to enter that and to ensure of course a secure connection you will have to set up user credential that will be used to access the server and this may include like a username and a password depending on the server authentication or authentication sorry authentication uh, requirements so after, after like configuring the server settings and using credentials perform a test connection to ensure that tally prime can successfully communicate with the server you can resolve any issues that may arise during the test uh, the testing phase and once the connection is successfully like tested you can save the server settings and exit the company info so go here and simply go to in shots or you can even disconnect if you want to to connect maybe uh, after words if you want to and of course you can exit the company info and tiley prime will now be configured to connect of course to the server whenever the access is chosen to the selected company and there you have it you successfully learned how to connect tally prime to a server in 2024 establishing this connection is essential for seamless collaboration and centralized centralized of course data management in your accounting process so if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorials, just leave it down below in the comment section and I'll try to go back to you as soon as possible. And I will try to cover it up. So if you like this video also, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more head for tutorials like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.